pickers, pickers, pickers. We are here, day number two on this 10 by five, five by 10. And it's just kicking the crap out of me. Second load looks junky, is junky, but fun and full of treasures. It really is. I've only went through a few boxes. You may have seen that video by now, but I love units like this. Just tons and tons of little things, you know, uh, collectibles and coins and all kinds of little stuff. So day number two, here we go. All right, Pickers, that's a wrap on the, what's it called? It is called Junk Drawer Unit. It's all empty. Here's the last little load. Bunch of fishing poles and a bicycle. One man, two days, two loads, one storage empire. Pickers Warehouse is Storage Master. 5,000, coming this fall to a theater near you. We're gonna unbox it and you guys are gonna come along for the ride. Mm. All right, Pickers, well, we are at the studio. I took over a jam room and filled it with this unit. Yes, this is all pretty much just this unit. <clears throat> lots and lots of boxes, lots and lots of different things. So many bags. So, if you hear rock and roll in the background, it's because we have a band in the main room right now. Jamming it up. Let's see. See, so they're rocking. And then back here, we got Teddy on comics, playing the comics. Plays the comics like a bat in the hell, baby. Here we go, we gotta find a tripod so that we can, so that we can show you some unboxing. The true junk drawer. I have drawers full of junk. So I'm gonna figure out a way to mount the camera and we'll go through the junk drawer. Like I said, there's so many bags and backpacks and stuff. And in case you're wondering, we have some stuff we sorted at my house in the last video. And then the van, I don't know if you can see in there. You might just see me. It's still pretty full. Lots and lots of boxes, bags. It's still pretty full. So, let's see what we can do. All right, that's the best I can do. I'm using a music stand for the tripod. Let's go through this junk drawer real quick. We got some wallets, BART cards. If you're not from around the bay, BART is something we ride, like a subway type of thing. Some CDs, a little cigarette roller, another wallet. All right, we've got a bag and it's jingling. We gotta know what the jingles are. Daddy, I love you. And there is, looks like a 223 necklace. That's interesting. Makes a hell of a whistle. I don't wanna put my mouth on it, but it, it makes a hell of a whistle. Guns and Roses tape. And it's in there, so we're keeping that. This is a little jewelry case full of firecrackers. <laughs> you don't need firecrackers, do you? At some point, tools, tools. We've got, count them, six exacto knives. We got a bunch of lighters, which I guess we could put in a bag and sell for like two bucks. Let's just rummage this real quick. There's a tool, bunch of Sharpies. Everybody loves Sharpies. Bobbles, the kids, they love them. Do the next drawer is ridiculous. This is more along the lines of the next drawer. I'm giving that to Teddy. Hey, we found a doobie. Drugs found in storage unit. Okay. So there are a series of movies, which we can't show. We can show Grown Ups. That's cool. Grab it. Let's see you can reverse drill. These are a bunch of dirty movies here. A big ass penis. I'm gonna have to sanitize my hand. It's got balls. Junk drawer number two is ridiculous. Let's see, we got some spiders. Miller, genuine draft. How about a big ass finger? 
wallet chain. I used to wear these, thought it was super, super cool. I was, in case you were wondering. Post-its, everybody needs post-its. I love cases. So we'll keep that one. This seems to be covered in cocaine. So that's not good. Cigarette case. Another cigarette case. Ed Hardy. Someone's buying that for a dollar. Romeo and Julieta. Okay. Here is Appalachian Trail. What do we have in there? Ooh. Wow. Love that. Appalachian Trail double. There's two little buddies. One of you knows what that is, but I don't. Think someone will buy that? Is that a definite maybe? Oh, that's big. And that about does it for this drawer. We got one more drawer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, drawer number three. Let's pull it out. This is what she said. I already see dirty magazines. Oh my gosh. I almost just fell over. I see candles and dirty magazines. This might be, this might be the winner. We have drawer number three of the junk drawer. These are cool. Well, those, those weren't open, I'd give them to my kids. These are magazines that we can't show you. So we're just gonna move all those magazines. They're not naked, but you can imagine what's in the other pages. This guy likes to have a good time. We got a trophy. Are you the champion? What is that? Some little nublet. Candoms. We got a random ball. A bunch of these cables. I'm always like, should I save these? What if I find the thing? But you know what? I guess. I really don't want to deal with them. That's cool. If it turns on, we'll keep it. Oh my gosh, it turns on. McDonald's toys. That's just a cluster of crap. Chickens. Little chicken candles. Those are cool. Does oral sex die at the altar? That's a good question, does it? Those of you that don't know, I actually had a subscription to this when I was 13. And all of you don't know that because you're the first people I've ever told. Thanks, Mom. Salt and pepper shaker, buddy? That's kind of cool. I guess we'll keep that. We actually have another junk drawer, but it looks terrifying. I'll grab a different box. Sounds like a bunch of broken stuff. Ooh. The Statute of Limitations. There is a Volkswagen Beetle. This is a little pot. Don't smoke it. Volkswagen van. That's cool. What's in the Johnson & Johnson? It's Johnson & Johnson. But wait, there's more. There's a dusty old boat. This looks like some cigars. So what is that? That little motorbike. Look at that adorable little bear. Got a sack of nuts. A nut sack. Jerry Seinfeld, Pez dispenser. It is a Chuck E. Cheese token, where a kid can be a kid. 2009. Yep, 10 snips. Got to get yourself some tin snips. That's garbage. Little scraper, buddy. That looks so handmade to me. I think it is handmade. Little putty knives. Vintage putty knives. Liquid latex. All the business cards you can handle. Screwdriver. Just a bunch of little hand tools. Vampire blood. You guys hear the music again if you're just tuning in, which is not so because... This isn't a TV show. We're at my studio. I took over one of the jam rooms and put this unit in it so that I could sort through it in peace. And then of course, a very awesome loud rock band shows up. It's all Chuck E. Cheese coins. Here's a sack of random items. Let's take a look. It looks like wall plates, wall plates, wall plates. Lots and lots of wall plates. Here's an additional sack of stuff. It looks kind of toolish. Yep, there's a box cutter. Just a bunch of little tools, tape, marksman wrist rocket, there's a screwdriver and a straw. It's a big old screwdriver, isn't it? That's dangerous, just to leave in a bag, huh? And drill bits, that's great. People love those. It's pretty. Cool. That's, that's a 1986 thing. More just putty knives and that's wide open. I don't like that. Why is that wide open? Another 
hand workout. This guy must have beefy hands. All the uh, dirty magazines and hand workout stuff, it's kind of starting to add up, isn't it? I think he was going for a world record, guys. Little Walkmans. And then that horrendous kill instrument. Plus that, somebody's garage door opener. I just opened up a garage door in Tennessee. We have four sacks. We've retrieved from a box yonder. And it looks like Dove for men. Little silver jewels, perhaps? Okay. That brings back memories that I haven't had yet. 49ers ornament. Uh, shaving stuff. Scissors and hygienic items, I guess. You gotta look through everything, because you might find a big old silver bracelet. Stainless steel. San Jose Sharks. Little vintage lanyard, buddy. That's kind of pretty. No markings, but pretty indeed. There's another ring. Is there any more jewelry in there? Yes, there is. There's an additional circle there. We have a little toy truck ornament. Well, that's all bagged up. Let's take a look. Love sucks. We got a cowboy's wallet. I can't think of a good joke. Let's see, Swiss Army. That's a good emblem to find. <clears throat> and there is a Swiss Army knife in it. There's a little foot, a Modelo foot. Shout out to Storage Auction Pirate, loving his Modellos. There's a big old elephant going poop. Suitcase, which is nothing in the outer realm. We've got what looks like a DVD player. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Throwback pumpkin status, dude. With little baby pumpkins inside. Ooh. And Halloween's just around the corner. Some rope. This will sell. Chinese calendars of some kind. Ladies, there's ladies on them. It is very packed in here. I'm actually, let me show you. I'm actually in an island of stuff. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, we have a lot, a lot. Like I said, there's 150 boxes and bags, and everyone so far has been super junk drawer status. So much fun. I couldn't ask for a funny unit. Gold and money would be fine, but this is, as far as fun, entertainment value, fantastic. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep tuned in for the ongoing saga of the junk drawer unit. Yes.